Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and welcome to Caspian Border, the map where I can't fly jets, the helicopters suck, and I blow things up with C4. Like, I've got two tickets to paradise, won't you? Pack your bags for me tonight! Nice one. And for this tank right here, he only gets one packet of awesome sauce, because we're almost fresh yet. Now, say goodbye to your tank treads. Predictably, the engineer, who's also got a purty mouth, by the way, is going to step out to repair and predictably get shot in the kneecaps. Awesome one, bro. Now, I know you're gonna cry about the UMP being overpowered, but we will discuss that later, okay? I really need to tell you how satisfying it is to wait at the, just waiting at the top of the stairwell for this guy, like, come here, you, come here, you. Douche, nice one, Carl. Feel free to not even check the stairwell for deadly explosives before you try to walk up it, but as you can see right there, I am very concerned about the large dent that I left in my Italian tile on my stairwell, uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Because you know what, I was going to do this commentary last night, but I was on hold with Ikea for at least, I want to say, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, I was literally trying to do two things. Order a set of Erika Picari dust ruffles, and the last couch that I will ever own. Like, I don't, I don't think you guys even realize how stressful a couch is. Like. I'm trying to buy a couch, and I just think to myself, that is the last couch I will ever have to buy. It's like, whatever happens, I have that couch right now. I have to explain another phenomenon. I don't know why, but single fire is like witchcraft in this game. Like, for example, what if you're in the back of the spawn, and you have 20 shots left? Switch to single fire, and it is deadly. Okay, there's one. There's two. And, okay, I believe that's four. That's four, five, four or five guys with a single fire. I think that I never ever single fire for some reason because I'm always so pessimistic about my gameplay. And I don't know what that guy's name is all about, Homicidal Wookie. I don't, I don't think I approve of that. But for this tank right here, it took me a while to learn the difference between disabling and destroying. Okay, there's disabling and skadoosh, double kill. I think that would qualify as overkill. No, no. I really can't remember the numbers now. I, I feel like saying Killionaire right now, but I, I really can't remember the numbers and the kills, and Halo is just so complex, right? Now, I don't know why, but for some reason I have this overt pessimism about my lifespan in Battlefield 3. Like, for example, I have how many shots left? 50, 60 shots left? And I always think, you know what, I'm not going to survive long enough to actually get rid of all those rounds, so I might as well just, and another tank, disabled before I destroy it. It took me a while to learn, so give me, give me a few minutes to learn exactly how to destroy tanks. And from this range, like for some reason, I always full auto. It's, it's like anything beyond 30 meters, that kill is just like a warm feeling with the UMP, I don't know why. It's like that warm feeling of killing three people with a magnum. And then you don't know what to do with the fourth guy. It's like, what are you doing, Carl? So, you just burn him alive, right? That's always a good idea. Actually, you know what? Do not try to burn alive the dan the break dancing species. They're like immune to fire. I don't know what they are. They're like, they're like all of our ex girlfriends, right? They're immune to fire. They don't die after bleeding for nine days, and they're just witchcraft. So, don't burn anyone that can break dance very well in Battlefield Three. Now. Like I said, I don't know why, but I feel the need to just hip fire and automatic fire from ranges of 30 to 40 meters instead of bursting. I don't know why, but it just seems more successful. Now, some people, while they're being chased, just like to hide in a corner, just, Good morning, Carl, that rocket's not going to save you, and I really don't like people that do that. Like, you're such a catfish if you do that. If you... Okay, if you're being chased and you find a corner and automatically pull out your rocket propel grenade, I don't like you. I, I just don't like you. You're like one of those people that say things like, take this serious. Okay, that, that three word sentence right there. Take this serious. I don't like that because... Number one, it should be take this seriously, but it's really, really annoying when you use an adjective when you should be using an adverb that that modifies take. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not even going to say that I'm very well versed in grammar, punctuation, or spelling because you guys know in my commentaries I make a fair, my fair share of just overt mistakes. But when you use an adjective when you should be using an adverb that modifies another verb, I... 
my blood starts to boil for some reason. And I don't know why I did all this ninja jumping around while trying to capture this flag. I don't know about you guys, but when I do this hardcore parkour thing that I do in Battlefield 3, I always feel like singing one song. I don't know if you guys sing the same song, but... Kamiat are you? It's so predictable. That 3D spotting is so wonderful, but... And you're gonna ask, I know you're gonna ask, you saw the intro scene with these silenced or suppressed. I know you guys get really, really technical with that. It's not silenced, bro! It's suppressed! Oh my god! Like, oh man, just calm down. Just, I... Magazine versus clip, suppressed versus silenced, I'm not real good on that subject, but please forgive me. Now, for some reason, I just feel so much more... I feel so much stealthier when I use a suppressor or a silencer. Like, certainly that gentleman was not very stealthy because he wasn't hiding in a bush, but it seems like if you're not hiding in a bush, you're just going to get lit up with any aircraft fire. Now, okay, like, for example, from that range, it's too optimistic, but still the Glock is so good, even from hip fire. And I know you're probably wondering about that comment from the AA gun. The AA gun is ridiculous. I don't know if you guys have seen how many bullets the AA gun fires, but that is like the VADs on steroids. Now, yes, I'm going to get one gentleman up here, but I don't know why I always pick the wrong time to reload. Like, look at this. Okay, gonna mow down this catfish lying in the bush, and okay, check the area for a few seconds. Alright, I'm totally good to reload now, right? Yeah, totally. Oh, I guess not. As soon as I grab my primary and try to reload, just awesome one. Now, something else that I would like to mention is that I am, I am so extremely conflicted when it comes to my sidearm. And great spawn point dice. That's so wonderful. Just, why don't you just pick a spawn point in the one place where everybody lurks when they're capping a flag? That's such a brilliant piece of innovation. And yes, I do admit that I'm sort of a hypocrite and this is totally something that I, I identified by myself. I realized that in one of my last Bad Company 2 videos, I said I would like blinding flashlights and then I got blinding flashlights and then I complained about that. I know that's sort of selfish, but for this guy over here, why are you laying prone? I don't understand. And how did that explosion not kill that gentleman there? I didn't understand that. But The one thing I do have to mention is that I am very conflicted in terms of my sidearm. Because number one, okay, look, I think about it this way. The Glock is super gangster. The 45 silver baller automatically makes you like Hitman 47, right? And then the big iron is just, you're like Texas Red and the Arizona Rangers. So I, I just can't pick a sidearm. Okay, there's one with basically my entire clip I got that Glock for you ninja and then oh I'm moving on over here look at this guy what are you doing Carl oh my goodness what just happened whatever just happened I definitely approve of it now there's gonna be a gentleman over here I do not approve of his conduct now I would definitely say that DJ would say that I don't approve of your conduct I don't know why you spelled it like that but give me your sandwich and I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I, I thought I had a parachute. I was getting shot at. I regret nothing. Just so you know, I regret nothing. That suicide was totally, totally worth it. Now, another thing that I would like to discuss are the vehicles of Caspian Border. Okay, number one, it seems like the helicopters just get absolutely destroyed. Like, you just get wrecked as soon as you get in a helicopter because... Tom Cruise and Goose, also known, it seems like it's Tom Cruise and Goose and Iceman is like a third pilot in there just wrecking you every time you get into a helicopter, I don't know what it is, but I don't like what you're doing, MLG crouch crawling everywhere, I don't understand, like I, 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 don't, I don't get it, I don't get it yet, now, I think you guys will agree with me when I do say that the Jets really do absolutely just destroy the helicopters for the most part. Now, maybe that's just because the helicopters are not as mobile, or maybe it's just because I haven't unlocked all of the different specializations yet, but actually something that I would like to identify is that the 50 cals on those, on these vehicles right here, give me a, oh, come on dog, why would you shoot him? Very frustrating when teammates do that, but I like to think that there are certain things that I, I don't want to scream overpowered yet because I know that dice will modify things and move things around, but it seems like overall helicopters are inferior to the 
aircraft, or not the aircraft, the jets specifically, and the anti-aircraft guns are very, very difficult to shoot down aircraft with other than helicopters. Like, it's hard to shoot down a jet with an AA gun, at least in my opinion. And the stingers and the, and the, is it the, no, it's the stingers and the, the other missiles that are guided lock-on, those are extremely annoying if you ask me. And I don't know why that didn't detonate, that's very disappointing, so I'm going to go ahead and throw down some ammo. One, and two, and... Skadoosh, say goodbye to your tank. That is such an epic explosion. I don't know why that's so... It's just so nice. Now, I regret to inform you that I made an extremely bad decision over here. Now look, okay. There's two chatty Cathys having a gab fest on this hill over here, right? I thought about taking their sandwiches, and I basically committed to the plan that I would run all of that way to take both of their sandwiches. Now look, one gets mowed down, does a breakdance move, I don't know what he's doing. There he gets mowed down. I thought I was going to get this guy, but... I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I didn't get the kill. Like, they would've, I would've routed out the entire video. I'm just so sad, but I think I blew up enough vehicles to make it count. Now, this is the end of the match, and I really need to have you listen to this, okay? Just, just listen to this guy. Just. Isn't that just bizarre? Like, the first time that I heard that, my face just went like this. Yeah, like, exactly like that. Now, for the end of the video, I'm going, for for your bonus clips, I'm going to show you the remainder of goofy endings that I've experienced in terms of the dialogue. Also, I will show you Epic Worm Man, who's very epic, and me being invisible. So, thank you for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald, and later. <laughs> oh my god, your neck is- <laughs> That thing is hilarious. Just, just walk around like that, you look like a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Dude, I found Shibby, I found Shibby, I found Shibby. Oh my god. <laughs> he looks like a, like a fish, he's like a fish trying to swim in. He's like swaying back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Nothing can shoot that. It's too amazing. I'm not armed. No, no, do not arm! Okay, oh, oh, oh. you're invisible. Oh my god! You're invisible! Yeah, I kept trying to spawn on you and it shows your dead body back on the staircase, like the right hand staircase. Uh, like back at the previous set, like where you're walking up. But yeah, you're invisible now. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> Do not harm. Just go stand in front of people. Damn. Like my body. This game, man, is just so far. That is great. I'm a fish. Badger's invisible. <laughs> I'm a fucking fish, man. What else does this game mean?